What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got an awesome video for you guys. We're going to be heading out to the Suburban Showcase Ultimate Fishing Show Expo. And we're going to be there in about 15 minutes. I was there yesterday with the kids. We had an awesome time checking out some things. But I didn't get a chance to see everything at the show. And uh, so today being Sunday, this is our last day. Their show is normally from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday here in Michigan. And they come every year. Um, usually it's the second week of January. And uh, today I decided I wanted to come again and uh, make a video on kind of showcasing some of the awesome things that I seen yesterday and some newer things that I'm going to see today. So stay tuned. We're going to be there about 15 more minutes. Walk in and... Uh, I might grab a bite to eat first because I have not eaten anything this morning yet. And uh, there was some ice. That was awesome. And we're going to check some things out. So stay tuned. All right, we just got into the Suburban Showcase just now. We're going to walk in and start uh, checking out some things, maybe do some reviews with some people. Stay tuned. So, hi, folks. We're here with uh, Bugsy Space USA. I'm the uh, president and owner of the company. I'm going to have Walt here, one of my post staff guys, cover head rig baits with you real quick. And the one I have in my hand is uh, the Morning Dawn, 2.5, I'm sorry, 2.75 inches. Let me correct myself. Go ahead, Walt. Make her away. Yep, head rig, super versatile bait. Anybody can fish them. Uh, any time of day, any time of year, springtime, throw at the dark spots, small nets, eight downs cover all kinds of water with a deep 20 foot, 25 foot, just heavier heads. They work everywhere. Uh, morning Dawn, great color, low light. Believe it or not, with the bright colors, yeah. low light's way better with this. You get into some dirtier water, tilapia magic is a great yeah. color. It imitates bait fish, you know, trying to get on those beds. So bed fishing, number one key right here. This I'm Bugsy from Bugsy Space USA. I'm going to cover one of my products is going to be my swim bait. What I have in my hand, 2.8 inch to 3.8 inch. These uh, swim baits are widely used all over the U.S. I sell a ton of these. I just want to take one out of the package here. As you can see, the, the color is uh, Tilapia Magic. See all that gold flash in there? A lot of the other competitor brands, they catch a lot of fish, but they tear off the jig heads, the swim jigs, real, real, real easy. Um, what I've done, the first two and a half inches of the body is firmed up so it don't rip off. But yet, if you turn it upside down like that, you can see how the tail folds over. It still has all that tail action. So when you throw it, you know, you still get the swimming action in the bait, which causes the strikes, you know, for you to catch your fish. Right. We'll just pull this other one out here. This is the 2.8 inch. It's in the sunfish <coughs> color. Let me get it open there upside down. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this is a very, very popular. And most of the baits that I sell, I have this collar pattern. This is my number one seller. You can see that. And once again, <clears throat> excuse me, the bait is firmed up the, probably the first two-thirds of the body to keep that bait from ripping off so easy. A lot of guys like to, to glue their baits on the, on the jig heads. You probably won't have to do that with these. All right. Folks. And what size are these? This is 2.8. 2.8. This other one here is a 3.8. You can go to my website. It's BugsySpakesUSA.com. They're seven dollars a pack here at the show. If you buy them, they're six dollars a piece if you buy five. Packaging looks really nice too. Yes. Yes. I've done the downtown job with the packaging. All the information is on the uh, back, space. even the Prop 65. The uh, website, the phone number's on there, so I make myself available for my products. If anybody needs to call, have any questions, I have the answers. Yep. This particular bait here is an eight inch trick worm. It's called Plum Apple. That's nice. Yeah, so it's brand new. So it's any guys a little, are- A little bit of a weight right here. Yep, yep. tail. If any guys are throwing any Carolina rigs or Texas rig, you can drop shot this bait as well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I got into throwing the 10 inch worms on the Texas rig yep. this past year. and. Better in the heat of summer. And then this is yeah. deeper, way better. In this collar here is for a, a gentleman that I sponsor who fishes. Uh, a, he actually just fished the Bassmaster Classic down oh, in really? Knoxville. Nice. He's from West Virginia. His name is Will Duffelbaugh. So this collar is called Lime Truce. So it's pretty bright. Let's check that out. 
Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah. Everything is scented with uh, anise oil. Okay. Do you smell it? Yeah. Can you guys smell it on camera there? You guys smell that? Yeah, smell it. That's All cool. right. That's, it smells good. It smells fishy. Yeah, it smells fishy. <laughs> Makes you want to eat it. All right, so you got uh, Bugsy's, Bugsy's Baits, right? USA. Based out of Auburn Hills. Yep. And uh, you guys got a store, right? Or is it more uh, of an online, online shop? Shows. Very good, okay. Yeah, I work a full-time job in uh, yeah. powertrain engineering at Chrysler Headquarters. So I've been awesome. So you're right, right next to it, yeah. Yeah. I'm so familiar with it. Okay. Cool. It's cool. Cool. Yeah, uh, my slogan is MoFo, and it stands for More Fish On. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. A lot of people don't know that. I put it on social media, people are like, whoa, but <laughs> read underneath, More Fish On. More Fish On, I like it. <laughs> All righty. All right, so we're at the Hobie booth right now. And all kinds of kayaks out here. This is the Hobie uh, 2023 Pro Angler 14. See all the specs on it right here. But this one's all specced out with all kinds of stuff on it from front to back. This is uh, like the black box, how Garmin has it, but just for Lowrance. Uh, the FPV power distribution hub. This is like a hub panel uh, that Tim Percy makes. He is here actually too, as well. Uh, he was. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so you got the Mirage Drive 180. A nice little compartment. You can take this out and then use a storage bin in here. Um, this is actually really nice to use. Keep your cell phone inside here. Close it lock it up it's good to go it's kind of normally where i keep my wallet and wallet or wallet and keys at nice little uh grip panels over here rod storage you get six rods in here um let's see you got a nice h rail to mount anything on here it's a super convenient nice grab handle this is their sniper marine mount um, this is not obviously made by Hobie, but this is an awesome mount for forward-facing sonar. Just a twist like this. This is super nice. Awesome and well put together mount. Heading unit for Lowrance. He's got a 10-inch uh, uh, Lowrance HDS fish finder. I mean, this thing's just decked out. It's awesome. The seat on these Hobies are just amazing. You can't go wrong with these things. I mean, honestly, I don't think you really need any pads or anything to lay on. Um, but if you want for a little bit more extra uh, padding and comfort, uh, go right ahead. Nice thing with these Hobies is uh, you can buy some wheels. They're plug-in kayak cart wheels. And uh, there's some other ones on the wall over there. But these are super convenient to have when you're kind of loading in and out of the water. Throw this under there and take your kayak back to your vehicle and uh, stow it up. So. <clears throat> then back here, we have a power pole mount. Got a couple of these. Also put on with the NK180 electric troll motor super nice to have I have the NK 300 and that works tremendously like amazing but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get Tim over here real quick and see if I can get him to do kind of more an in-depth review on this mount right here this is called the triple threat and I'm gonna have him come over here and talk a little bit more on what you can mount on these and uh, I actually have one of these uh, on my PA and uh, <clears throat> I don't have the power pole mount, mount but I have the NK uh, 300 and it it's awesome to have it on there so there's different options you can do but we're gonna get him over here and have him talk about it a little bit more stay tuned all right so we got Tim Percy here that makes the triple threat uh, mount right here for the PAs um, do these come in different kind of uh, mounting uh, brackets for different Hobies and things like that? Yeah, yeah. There, there, there's a couple of 
different versions out there. I make it for the Hobie Pro Anglers. That the, the, it'll fit the Hobie Pro Angler, Pro Angler 12 and 14. There is also uh, one for the Outback and, and one for the Compass as well. And there's also uh, the, the the single, which is just strictly just for uh, a motor mount in, in itself. But this is the triple thread, so you can you can either have two power poles with, with your with your motor, or you could just go one one power pole on either side. Uh, okay. Depending on your cast your casting, if, it, if you're kind of a right-handed caster, you might want to put your power pole over on the left-hand side, so you're not trying uh, grab it in your in your backswing. Uh, there are. So right now this has got the uh, Newport NK180 on it. Okay. So the, uh, the mount will work with the Newport NK180 and also the um, uh, Newport NK300. As long as uh, it also, uh, you can mount the Torpedo and Bixby motors will, will, will work on this mount as well. Okay. So what about uh, like an Anchor Wizard or something maybe? Because yep. I mean, you could have kind of both of them on here, but yeah. will so that work as well? Some of the guys will, will, add, will have a, a power pole on one side and then you can drop your, your anchor wizard shoot off the back as well and yeah. then just drop that off on one side depending on how you want to utilize it. Okay. And then uh, what's, uh, what's your website to find some of these? This is uh, it's at TimPersonKayakFishing.com. Tim Person. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right. Here's some other kayaks that they uh, are offering at this show right now. This is the Hobie Passport. Here's the Hobie Pro Anger 14. Hobie Mirage Lynx. guys i'm out here with broken twig landing nets out here at the novi ultimate fishing show you guys can check them out on facebook you guys got on instagram too as well yep. okay facebook. i'm out here with chris lemeasure the okay. owner and i uh, wanted to come over here and kind of talk about you with the nets that you guys are selling and um i think it's an awesome idea what uh what do you have in your hand right here so these are two of our four size landing nets that we make this is called the Quick and Light. Um, yep. Great for like wading, you know, streams, rivers, that kind of stuff. Stuff, uh, trout fishermen, bass fishermen, that kind of thing. Um, new head design for this year, for 2024. Very similar to that. This is the medium landing net. A uh, little bit larger, a little bit longer handle. So this is a 25 inch handle. Perfect size for like um, kayaks, canoes, right, that sort of thing. Right, a small, lightweight. That, that new head shape for 2024. Okay. And then we make two larger ones. Um, the, the full strength landing net, a little bit bigger head and a 30 inch handle. Do you mind uh, putting those kind of next to yeah, each other yeah. a little bit? Yep. Kind of show like the, up here, you yeah. See the, the smallest to the, to the largest. Yeah, so maybe some of these would be more better for a boat or maybe exactly. somebody that does a, like a longer length on a kayak. Exactly, uh, boat fishing guys, same thing, bass, walleye, multi-species, pretty versatile. And then people that wow. want a longer reach, 
the same size as that full strength head. Yeah. Bring it down so you can see it here. Uh, but this is a 42 inch hand. And really that's about as long as we could go with the hockey stick. Because okay. They, they taper and change. Yep. But this is great when you want that extra reach for you know, scooping your fish. If you have high gunnels on a bow or you just want to be able to reach out a little bit longer for your fish. Um, and what's cool about it is the hockey stick kind of has that, that sticky texture. So even if you choke up on it, it's easy to grip and it fits in your hand really nicely. Right. Looks like hockey tape on the end here, but that's actually a rubber grip. <laughs> I guess my favorite part. Which is pretty cool, right? <laughs> so it gives it that character of a hockey stick, but it's rubber. So even when it's wet, again, it's not going to slip on your hands. Check this out right here. The detail is just awesome. I love the logo. Thank you. And that's awesome. the beauty of, of yeah. being crafted stuff, right? Is you get that attention to detail. It's well made, right? Right. And, and made right here in the U.S., right here in Michigan. Yeah, so you have four different lanes, yep. two different size nets, um, and then, uh, so, do you do wooden sticks um, as I well? I do, you, you know, they don't make them as frequently anymore, okay. so you don't see as many wood sticks, they don't come through my shop, you know, right. wooden sticks, mostly just the, the all carbon fiber ones, Okay. but the wood sticks are cool just because they have so much character, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. especially older guys, right, remember wood sticks, the old Sherwoods and stuff, so, Perfect. so I do make them uh, periodically. Again, not as lightweight as carbon fiber, but still really cool to look at. Right. And everybody remembers the old Sherwood, you know, coffee pattern. Yeah, so it, 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 if any hockey players out there, if you guys got some old sticks laying around, you know, Chris is your guy to kind of bring those back to life and, you know, turn them into a fishing net. And uh, I think that's just an awesome idea. So what else do you have out, out, out here? So we got, um, you know, ice fishing seasons kind of here. So we got ice fishing scoops. Okay. Um, a short handle and a long handle. Honestly, probably the only awesome. carbon fiber ice scoop in the world, right? <laughs> right. Typically made out of steel or plastic, so these are kind of nice. It's carbon fiber, same thing, right? It has that grippy texture, so you're not going to drop it even with the gloves on. Yeah. Two sizes of those, and then we actually make um, bait nets and gaffs. Tend to be more saltwater focused, but right. again, lots and lots of people in the Great Lakes and freshwater fishing use bait nets and gaffs. So, like, again, this really looks like it's taped on there yeah, it looks like hockey tape. you know what i mean like hockey tape and that's yeah. the, that's the awesome thing it's got that so well awesome well thank you for uh showing us this no and uh you, you guys have a website and everything yep broken twig landing nuts.com there also on instagram facebook all the typical places to find us just got out of there from the fishing show just now had a ton of fun met a bunch of people new people seen a lot of old faces good to see them always uh, comment down below if you guys like these reviews. Um, I'm going to start doing these more lately, or more in the future, and uh, start cranking these videos out. Had a lot of fun today, though. It was a good time. And uh, I walked out with nothing. I didn't, I didn't buy a single thing, which was the goal. <laughs> so, um, comment down below if you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. See you.